is tightening, causing constant changes in regional and global economy and trade, and putting greater pressure on peace, security, and prosperity for ASEAN as a whole. The ongoing Ukraine war, in particular, has caused tremendous destructions to the Ukrainian people. Yet, far beyond the border of the war, we all directly and indirectly suffer the ripple effects ranging from the disruptions of supply chains and slower growth of the world economy. Ladies, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Cambodia has been actively advocating and engaging in regional and global peace and security matters. On regional levels, as Cambodia assumed its ASEAN chairmanship role in 2022, Samdai Dekjo Hun Sen, the former Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, led a high-level delegation to the Republic of the Union of Myanmar to advocate the escalating tensions and enabling constructive dialogues among relevant stakeholders to achieve enduring peace and national development and shared win-win policy success drawn from lessons learned in Cambodia. On global levels, we have transformed ourselves from a recipient country of the UN Blue Beret deployment to become an active contributing country in UN peacekeeping operation in some hotspot countries of the world, as evident by UN peacekeeping and mine clearing missions in Africa and Middle East. We strongly believe that war cannot end by war. True peace and prosperity would only stem from peaceful settlement of conflicts through dialogue and consultations based on win-win approach, whereby it is imperative to have the participation and agreement of all parties involved in a spirit of mutual understanding, setting the well-being of the people as a top priority. In the broader context, ASEAN and international communities must exert leadership in opposing the use or the threat of force against a sovereign state, while concerned effort, concerted effort is indispensable. In the meantime, members of ASEAN and the United Nations must adhere to the spirit of independence, sovereignty, territorial integrity, equality, and non-interference stipulated in the ASEAN and UN charters. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, ASEAN have become the fifth largest economy in the world. The success story of ASEAN has always been based on peaceful cooperation with active and proactive participation from the private sector as a prerequisite for socio-economic and human development. By having peace as a core fundamental value, ASEAN has forged stronger regional partnerships among its member states to enhance prosperity in the region and beyond. In this spirit, ASEAN must strive to strengthen its unity and centrality and advance the ASEAN economic community building process to sustain ASEAN as a region of critical importance and major center of prosperity, which can be equally and inclusively shared. In the current regional and global context, to achieve common prosperity, it is imperative that the strengthening and deepening of ASEAN economic integrations further contribute to narrowing the development gap within ASEAN itself. The promotion of intra-ASEAN trade and investment in particular ought to be meaningful and leave no one behind. To realize these visions, ASEAN must strive in a concerted effort to secure a timely conclusion of a better forward-looking and more practical ASEAN trade in goods agreement upgrade. Equally important, we are to fully and effectively utilize the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, or ASEAN, while ensuring that the existing ASEAN Free Trade Agreements 
and economic cooperation with all ASEAN dialogue partners are still of critical importance and relevant for businesses and investors. Moreover, ASEAN should take full advantage of, this, of the change in economic architecture to become more resilient by accelerating inclusive ASEAN digital transformations, enhancing and participation of MSMEs in the regional and global supply chain, and being more forward-looking and adaptive to emerging issues such as climate change, food security, pandemic, and others. Ladies, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Cambodia attaches crucial importance to peace, political stability, and security. From a country marked by decades of wars, Cambodia has been enjoying peace, and through peace, has graduated into the lower middle income country status, having sustained its economic growth of 7% per annum. Cambodia therefore holds true that peace, political stability, and security are the prerequisites and core establishment for socioeconomic and human development, without which basic rights and freedom of the people cannot be protected much less prosperity and development. As I assume the Premiership, in this seventh term, the Royal Government of Cambodia has recently launched a new national overarching strategy called the Pentagon Strategy. The overall strategic mission is to safeguard and nature hard gain peace and to accelerate national development to achieve the milestones of becoming a high income country by 2050. This strategy has set out five strategic pentagons, including one, human capital development, two, economic diversification and competitiveness enhancement, three, development of private sector and employment, four, resilience, sustainable and inclusive development, and five, development of digital economy and society. Taking this opportunity, I would like to emphasize the importance the royal government plays in an essential role of private sector in contributions to Cambodia's remarkable prosperity. Improving the business and investment climate has always been one of the top priority of the royal government of Cambodia. For instance, to promote business and investment with sufficient incentive, protection, predictability, and opportunities, the Royal Government has adopted the Law on Investment and the Law on Public-Private Partnership, together with free trade agreements and bilateral and multilateral corporations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as the new Prime Minister of Cambodia, I would like to assure you that can Cambodia continues to be committed to the multilateral system, rule-based, international order and principle of non-interference in order to protect and promote peace both at home and in the world. We will work closely with all ASEAN member states as well as private sectors to foster inclusivity, peace, and prosperity in the region and beyond. Cambodia stands ready to welcome all prospective investors to the kingdom where opportunities are abandoned. Finally, I wish this summit a great success and wish Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the four Buddha blessing of longevity, nobility, health and strength. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, His Excellency Samdek Mohavapu Tifade Unmage. Swift News, Best TV, Bodemian Knong Dainet.